Hello guys and welcome to another video from Vintage Radar. Today we are going to talk about how does an automatic watch work. Uh, today we are going to have a look at this vintage 90s Swatch Automatic watch with the see-through back. So we have an exhibition case, a very beautiful model. Now when it comes to automatic watches, there are a few things we need to discuss. The first thing is that an automatic watch is a mechanical watch. So mechanical watches can be automatic and they can also be manual winding watches. So manual winding mechanical watches and automatic watches. All of them have mechanical movements, but the difference is that an automatic watch, just like this one, features an extra part on the back of the watch, as you can see, that is moving as the watch moves around. So as you wear it on the wrist, this extra metallic part which is called a rotor is going to spin and it is going to wind the watch that is why it is called an automatic watch or a self-winding watch or a self-winding mechanism because it winds itself also when it comes to automatic watches usually you will be able to read automatic on the watch dials the second thing that you need to know about automatic watches is that when you pick it up let's say you left it on the table for about a week and the second hand is not ticking this means that no more energy is stocked within the watch so it cannot run so you need to wear it in order for the rotor to spin and to wind the watch or something really simple that you can do is to give it a shake. So you can shake the watch for around 30 to 60 seconds in order to get the watch going and then you can set the time and date and put it on your wrist. Because a lot of people complain about the fact that the watch stopped and now uh, they need to uh, wind it a little in order for them to set the time and date and then put it on the wrist. So that is something really cool that you can do. Just give it a shake, have it going then you put it on the wrist and you are good to go now there are some watches out there that can only wind to the left or to the right so you can look your watch up and see whether you need to shake it to the left or to the right in case that is the uh, option for you but most modern automatic watches can wind both ways so you do not need to worry whether you should move your wrist to the left or to the right or uh, whether the watch is going to stop because it isn't winding now one more thing that you need to know about automatic watches is that some of them, just like this uh, Swatch automatic watch, also features a manual winding option. So this means that I can also wind the watch by rotating the watch crown to the right. And this does not actually damage the movement. There are a lot of people out there that say that winding an automatic watch is going to damage your watch. If that was the case, watch manufacturers would not include this extra option on your automatic movement. So this was put on there with a purpose. And that is because when you pick your watch up, you want to give it a few winds, get it going, set the time, put it on your wrist, and then the self-winding mechanism, so the rotor is going to do the rest for you. Now, one thing to take into consideration is that when you manually wind an automatic watch, more gears so more wheels of the watch are going to be engaged thus it is going to increase the wear of the movement not exponentially not by a lot but still you might need a service a little bit faster compared to only using the rotor so the self-winding mechanism of the movement but if you only wind it a few times before wearing it after you have left it on the table for days or weeks in a row this is not going to make a difference so you do not have to worry about that so guys those were the few things that i wanted to clear out about automatic watches and now you know more about how does an automatic watch work this is going to apply to almost 99 percent of the automatic watch movements out there there might be a few exceptions but this is going to apply to other brands as well in case you enjoyed this content guys make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to this YouTube channel, leave a comment. And once again, guys, if you are into watches, vintage watches, watch tutorials and watch reviews, subscribe and I'm going to see you on the next video.